Okay. Yes. Hi, I'm Nicholas Plaza. I'm from Mountain View High School. Uh, I interned at the Dennis Group, which is an engineering firm that specializes in food and beverage uh, manufacturing. Uh, I usually intern on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 5 p.m. And I've interned about 56 hours in the 10 weeks that I've worked there. Um, the Dennis Group. Um, Okay, this is basically what I just said. It's uh, what they specialize is the application of food and beverage manufacturing and processes and simplicities. Like for example, this is a depalletizer, which takes like pallets and then just takes them out, puts them on a conveyor belt. Uh, responsibilities: I had to dress appropriately for this. I had to wear a business casual, which was just like basically um, a collared shirt and khakis with chinos and. Uh, I had to check in with my mentor, and an important thing I had to do was uh, discuss my learning goals weekly because um, I was like the only intern at my um, office, and so by discussing these things with my mentor, uh, he was able to put me in a place where I could learn more from my sessions, and then just a really important thing was uh, staying helpful and attentive. Um, you know, obviously I don't have uh, AutoCAD skills, so I had a just be open to whatever was uh, available for me to do. Uh, duties. Um, what I did the most was shadow mechanical engineers and chemical engineers. I also interacted with co-ops, which co-ops are just basically um, interns from Georgia Tech or Clemson that study for one semester and work for one semester. So I learned a lot from them actually because they told me a lot about just college and how um, the CAD classes in college aren't what you expect them to be. Um, I printed and pulled printing, uh, pretty great. Uh, and I worked on this uh, TADD assessment, which is what they give to new employees once they're hired at the firm. It was it took me like three weeks just to do that because it was very difficult because I obviously have very little um, AutoCAD skills. But throughout those three weeks, I was able to learn a lot, how to use YouTube, how to use mentors, co-ops. It was a learning experience, but it was nice to learn how to do it. And I learned how to clean up files, uh, use PNIDs, which are piping and instrumentation uh, diagrams, and I learned how to use a plotter, and at first I thought a plotter was like something huge or whatever, and it's basically just a big printer, so. Pros and cons, um, this has given me some meaningful exposure to AutoCAD. It's also sparked an interest in process engineering, which is a subset of chemical engineering. Uh, it, it's exposed me to a professional environment. I don't know if you can see, but this is an office. It was built like two years ago, so it's pretty modern, and it was a really nice environment to be in. And it kind of let me see like the whole, full circle of engineering, the fact that you have to go on site to measure and calculate um, area, the fact that you have to create layouts, call vendors, um, send it to clients. One of the cons, uh, one of the cons was that while I shadowed with electrical and mechanical engineers, I realized that that's not a career for me. So boring. All right, continue. Uh, job outlook. This this is pretty sad. I searched this. I searched this up last night. Um, employment for mechanical engineering is projected to grow by four percent, and mechanical <laughs> engineering is projected to grow by five percent. That's not that great. <laughs> yeah, that's not great at all. So if I do want to go into this career, it's going to take a lot of effort and just a lot of dedication on my part. Um, memorable experiences. Um, my first one was obviously completing that CADD test, the one that I mentioned. Um, once I did that, you know, I had to like search up YouTube, like random AutoCAD forums on the internet. It was so weird. But once I was able to acquire the skills I needed to complete it, it I just completely felt satisfied and it was awesome. And another thing was in the office, since it's very recently, uh, it was re very recently constructed, they have a huge break room with like ping pong tables, uh, darts, pool table, and they have a basketball court outside. So with my mentor, I would actually play ping pong and basketball. And it was uh, very fun, actually. And that helped me just create a friendly relationship with my mentor, which helped me understand the work environment, as well as like his motivation for going into mechanical engineering. Personal growth, um, I grew as a professional. I, you know, I understood, I understood the whole concept of confidentiality because I can't discuss projects that they haven't sent out to clients just because there might be competitors. Uh, punctuality was extremely important, responsibility and cooperation 
are also skills that I acquired. Uh, I learned some basic AutoCAD skills, which is pretty awesome, and I uh, learned how to problem solve. Good. Thank you, Nick. Awesome.